white women are pissed off that white men prefer Japanese women to white women. This is kind of in line with the Passport Bros. Now, the Passport Bros movement, ideology, you know, community, it's popped up in the last two years. And it was basically headlined by black dudes, mulatto dudes, mystery mutt dudes. It wasn't white guys as well. That's what I'm trying to say. White guys have been doing what passport bros are doing for, I mean, since the 80s. I mean, even if you go back to the 60s and 70s, there were black American soldiers in Vietnam that were finding waifus and bringing them back to the States. But black guys, non-white guys, have been hit by feminism the hardest you know, more immediately because feminism was trialed in the black community. It was tested out when Lyndon Johnson told black women, you get money from the American government if your husband isn't living in the house. Feminism was pushed in the black community. The black community is destroyed. Like, go to the ghetto war zones. Go to Chicago. Go to Detroit. Go to Flint. Go to Gary, Indiana. Those places are destroyed war zones because of feminism. Ain't no fathers around. Give women freedom. Give them resources. You basically subsidize their bad decisions. They'll destroy the community. A lot of guys have been doing this forever. But there's something about a white woman complaining about Asian women liking white guys, it makes it great. So let's start with the white woman first, guys. Let's start with the white chick first. Here's a tweet saying Japan is so effing misogynistic. Let's find out how. I mean, Japan is misogynistic. It's really misogynistic. But their fertility rate is below one, I believe. Let me look it up. Let's find out. Let me type it in. Japan fertility rate. The Japanese fertility rate as of 2020 is 1.3. Less than the U.S. Less than Canada. So... Are women not having kids in Japan because they're misogynistic? Because the government hates women? Well, you're saying so. If there was a government that gives women freedom that isn't misogynistic, it means they, they have the highest fertility rate, right? Let's find out who has the highest fertility rate. Niger. Niger, Africa. Do you think women have more freedom in Niger, Africa with a fertility rate of, was it actually seven? Seven. Niger, Africa has a fertility rate of seven. Japan, 1.3. So is this white woman who just looks aggressive? Look at her face. She looks like a like a thump from Mario. She's trying to say Japan has she probably thinks Japan's fertility rate is low because they don't give women enough money. How much money does the government of Niger give their poor black women in Africa? Zero. Yet they have Almost five times Japan's fertility rate. But I'm going too hard into science. I'm talking about stats. I'm talking about biology. I'm talking about incentives. White women don't understand that. Let's hear her complain about Japan. 
A Japanese city is in trouble for sending leaflets to heavily pregnant women telling them how to please their husbands after giving birth. The leaflet says that new mums might annoy their husbands if they do things like taking care of the baby instead of the chores, and that new dads like to be thanked for doing things like the washing up, changing nappies, or even holding their child. It also advises women. Yeah, new dads like to be thanked. They like to have their wife, the mother of their children, say thank you for doing this. It's called decency, white woman. Why am I not surprised a white woman is offended by mothers being decent to their husbands? I'm not surprised. This is why so many white men are obsessed with Japanese women. Men to give their partners a massage and to smile. Women in the Japanese city on Manichi have been getting these leaflets for the last few years after dads gave advice to a survey in 2017. But now the city's mayor has apologized and said that the leaflets will stop being distributed after people called them misogynistic. White woman. The country you came from, white countries, are collapsing. They're collapsing because of you. White countries collapse because of white women. But chronic, the United States is collapsing because all these non-white people are, are coming to the U.S. and doing this, this, and that. It's a white woman. Mo white people, says the white nationalist. Who let them in? Who voted for JFK because he was handsome? White woman. People say that these leaflets are showing the outdated gender norms in Japan that some say are contributing to the country's falling birth rate. A pro Feminism is directly correlated with low birth rates. I'll say it like this. Feminism is inversely correlated with birth rates. The most anti-feminist countries in the world have the highest birth rates. As a fact, Niger, Somalia, Afghanistan, they have the highest birth rates. They are also the least feminist countries in the world. What's well, the most feminist countries in the world? South Korea, Japan. The UK, the United States, Canada, they have the lowest birth rates in the world. So when you say misogynistic tendencies cause lower birth rates, that's like me saying that's, that's like me saying lower temperatures are causing burns. Yeah, you're gonna call me an idiot, white woman. The problem that the Prime Minister has said is so bad that soon the country may fail to maintain social functions. Oh no, all the old Japanese boomers aren't going to have young people to support them because they wanted their wives and daughters to be feminists. They wanted their daughters to go to work. They wanted their daughters to go to college. They wanted their daughters to have sexual freedom. And now there's not enough grandchildren to take care of them. I'm so shocked. I feel so bad for the old feminist boomer that has no kids. So that's the white woman, right? So white feminists are you know spreading their poison around the world but white men have been pursuing foreign women since colonial times do you guys know how many spanish men moved to south america and central america to get some native puniti can you imagine being some like spanish dude in the 1800s all these Spanish women asking you what family you're from, how many horses you own, how many priests you know. And you're like, you know what, F it. Let me get on a boat for months. The, the Spanish dudes that went to Central and South America, they were on boat rides 
voyages for months. Now, the, the wokes are saying, oh, they were just uh, trying to conquer and abuse native peoples. No, no, no. They were avoiding white women. Spanish colonialism in the New World was on the back of Spanish men, white men, avoiding white women because they were too needy. And then they landed in Venezuela. They landed in Paraguay. They landed in Argentina. They landed in Mexico. And they, they walked up to a native woman and said, Hey, look at this. This is um this is a mirror. This this is iron. This is this. And the woman's like, Oh my god, please give me babies. And there you go. You got Hispanics. The mixture of Spanish men and Aztec women, Mayan women. The you know, the I the the movement of white men banging natives to get away from white women has been going on for like three, four, five hundred years. But let's get to the past one, bros. This is from I am yes, you are no. Japanese women and white men. So white women say white men are horrible. White women think white men are trash. And so white men go to Asian women and white women get angry. Why are white women so mad that white men are leaving them? Didn't you say we're trash? Didn't you say that white male patriarchy is the worst thing in the world? They're leaving you. You're, you're free. You can go to college. You can get it paid for. There's female scholarships. You can do whatever you want. But when white men go and court Asian women, you get pissed off. And a lot of them say, white, these white men go to Japan. They get no punity. These white men go to Japan. They're losers. These Japanese women don't pay attention to them. These white men go to Japan. They're still losers. They're abusive. Let's see what Japanese women think of white men. This one's a 5 out of 10. But she's a 5 out of 10. She's more attractive than 70% of white women. Let's see what she's to say. What would Japanese girls date a white foreigner? They're gentlemen. Wow. Yeah, this one. For some reason, Japanese women are allowed to be chubbier than white women. In my mind, like... Japanese women can be like up to five higher on the BMI scale than a white woman. A white woman that looks like this? No, I'm not interested. Japanese woman looks like this? Oh yeah, I'm so very interested. <笑><笑>実際に白人男性と付き合いたいとは思いますか?めっちゃ憧れでした。うん、外人さんとお付き合いしてみたいなって思ったことは全然あります。小さい時からずっと思ってました。this Japanese chick has been dreaming about white schlong since she was a kid. <sighs> you know what white girls dream about when they're kids? They dream about being CEOs. They dream about living in New York City with a half black kid, not living with a father. And that's from a video I saw. <laughs> Her dream of getting schlonged down by a white guy has not come true yet. So, white men, look. I'm not appealing to your lust. I'm not telling you to bang, you know, to get yellow fever. I'm just saying, help a, a woman of color achieve her dream and go to Japan and get your Japanese wife. This chick might be the most attractive out of all of them. Maybe it's chronic likes the dyed hair, the bangs. I don't know why. Charles, she, 高校生の時、その英語を教えてくれる ALT みたいな先生。She fell in love with her English teacher in high school. I can't even comment my reaction on that because white women will call me a groomer. ガチ恋してます。おお、笑いですね。Japanese supremacy. She wouldn't want to date a white guy, but then she says because they're too beautiful. Oh, come! Can we get one Japanese woman that says she prefers Japanese men? Come on now. I don't see them as human because they're too beautiful. Well, you know, white women don't see white men as human because white women are demons. <laughs>
というよりかはなんか映画とか芸術見てる気分になっちゃって。I'm a piece of art? You know, this is an active exhibit, so feel free to touch the model. <laughs> That's what the comments say. I love to hear what they say about us black men. Low tier God. I even know about that guy. Yeah, well, you know what? They probably don't think you're great. Racism, that's it. I mean, that's true. Asia doesn't like black men. If, look, if you want to find a group of women that love black men, stay in the West. White women love black thugs. But I'm not sure if low tier God's a thug. If he's a Tyrone, I don't know. I've never heard of him. I laugh at myself. So many white guys are going to book a flight to Tokyo after watching this shit. Yeah, you, you know what? You're goddamn right, bro. We're sick of white women. Everybody's sick of white women. Who likes white women? Arab immigrants that think white women are basically the same as white porn stars they see online? Yeah, wait until the family courts gets you. If you want to support the show, consider donating to Cash App slash Cash Shine Undead Chronic. That's Cash App slash Cash Shine Undead Chronic. The link is pinned.